Hello everybody, it is Saturday and something I haven't done in a little while is The Grind Show. It is a Saturday show looking at the foreseeable week from Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and just letting you know what is dropping on these individual days. It may be something like Battlegrounds orientated, a new event starting, a crystal ending or even something like the resetting of incursions. We cover that in The Grind Show. And the show each week would not be possible without the amazing work of Dan of Frontline MCOC. He puts together the MCOC calendar, which you can go and check out in the link in the description, as well as lots of other info that's helpful towards the game. Whether or not you want to know info about a guide or other bits and bobs that are happening, but champions entering into crystals, you name it, it's available at Frontline MCOC. It's my good friend Dan, who are going to be doing a podcast, episode 108, dropping tomorrow. And without further ado, let's get on with the show. Now, I'm a little bit of a laugh to begin with, and that is because this particular, well, time goes into a bit of a dull stage. It's really weird because we go through peaks and troughs with the game, well, there's lots happening, and then there's times where there's not a lot happening. The only thing that's kicking off the 17th of June, which is today, Saturday, is that we are going to have an alliance war that is going to be out of season depending on what you do whether or not your alliance that drops in your champions just to kind of like well just not do anything have them defeated and then pick up the spoils of a defeat then it's up to you if you're looking to win each and every time then hey go do that that is down to a personal choice on the matter but yes uh, that is what is dropping an alliance war for those that do it Hurrah. Over now to Sunday. Not, again, not a lot happening on Sunday, but it's a Sunday, so you don't expect the, a lot of stuff. And it is like the uh, the first like nine days, ten days after the event quest has started. So at this particular point, I would recommend just use the time to clear that. If you've cleared it, work on some other content. Battlegrounds is still in operation as of uh, the Sunday. So yeah, go and do that. The only other thing dropping is going to be a tier for basic arena for those that participate in those particular ones. I'm going to get 30 units. It's up to you. Uh, I've got to get uh, in with doing some arena, but that is uh, future Richard's problem, not current Richard's problem. So yeah, good luck to you. Get some stuff grinded out. Now on to Monday 19th of June. Don't know why I said it like that. Um, like I'm saying, it's like Star Trek. Uh, next Generation. Uh, I love Next Generation Star Trek. But what is dropping on Monday? Monday is going to see an AQ enlistment so officers can get prepared with whatever they're doing, wherever they're doing, however they're doing. Go get involved with it. The AQ uh, cycle always kind of like sneaks up on you before you even blinking know it. What else? Well, it's a Monday. What happens on Monday? We have we see a reset of the trophy tokens. Trophy token store. Battleground store, even. Uh, but I would say a lot of players are waiting to see what happens with the store reset. Be, not store reset. The store changes, which I believe come in on the 22nd. But it could be when the season ends. I think this is probably be addressed in this particular show. But uh, yeah, look out for that. It should be this particular week that things are being uh, changed about for it. And when the Black uh, black Ice and Market store, like what have we got here? We do have a reset of the featured six star and featured five star respectively for those that get involved uh, with that one. Apart from that on Monday, the only other thing we would possibly see, well, I would definitely see, is a reset, not reset, it's round two of the Danny Moon star and uh star lord arenas so the reset of those particular arenas and we'll have the results for you in monday's mcn or there may be a second video on monday because i've got this new job i'm starting i've got to figure out how my new schedule is going to work around kind of announcing that it may be a case i just make that on on sunday night the mcn for monday but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it um on the matter on to tuesday the british day of chewing and if we've getting this right, we should be seeing a little live stream. I say it like that because I'm a bit unsure about this, but we should be seeing a live stream hopefully on the 20th of June. So that's the Tuesday, British Day of Chewing. And that should be the one where you start seeing the model for Gladiator and as well as some other information about Lady Deathstrike potentially so look out for that one on tuesday uh, we'll be covering it on the channel when it goes live 
fingers crossed uh but we'll have to see uh, it's going to be very exciting to see like you know what what happens with this one um, i'm definitely looking forward to it especially because we're going to see the 250th champion in action of course lady death strike we'll see in any case but uh yeah it just be it just be really cool it's going to be a great day and also what else is happening in game well not a lot except for for those that do incursions and I, i've been enjoying incursions a little bit more uh which i need to kind of get involved with in any case and that is a milestone reset just for the gold if you like the gold then it resets so that's something for you as well on to wednesday and we'll see the ending of battlegrounds season eight so battlegrounds is going to end this season is going to be very important a lot of people i know are holding the elder marks in preparation for the following season whether or not you're one of those people i don't really know but especially because we're not going to get an alliance war so a lot of the stuff is going to be rooted into the next season of battlegrounds so do bear in mind for that so the main thing to say about battlegrounds is that uh yes it's gonna end the season's gonna end uh and also you know we gotta prepare for the next meta but what else is happening on a wednesday well another aq cycle begins as soon as one ends that is when it's going to start very very crucial very very important and finally the only other thing happening on a wednesday is there's going to be a class catalyst arena so for the arena at everyone um uh, doesn't do some people might do it i don't know this class class catalyst one right here so for tier 4 cc's but people like tier 4 cc's if they're not getting them from the glory store or other areas uh, of the game on to thursday and we have got a bit more action on this particular day very very important not for the two things we're going to discuss as well it's kind of important for me because it's one of my favorite champions uh or kind of like most memed for champions and that is uh king Groot arena now <laughs> You might be wondering, are you going to rank five this uh, King Groot Richard? Maybe. Just because, I don't know, I just don't want to give it to Hercules because I just feel like he just, every time, Hercules, 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 got to mention Hercules, 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 Hercules. And after a while, he just like, he just grates on you. Uh, but yeah, um, Her not Hercules, King Groot. See, it's living, Hercules is living my brain rent free and I don't want to, I don't want to say it. No, um, no, uh, King Groot is going to enter into the basic arena. So I would recommend it. If you if you want to awaken your King Groot and you want a survivability-based champion that's, that's really kind of helpful, fun and stuff like that, then go and check out King Groot uh, and he'll be in the uh, the basic arena. We'll be doing a, uh, uh, what we'll be doing. We'll be doing predictions. That's what we do, arena predictions. What else is happening on Thursday? Well, we've also got an alliance war that should be on our season. Of course it is. So, um, you know, if you're going to play, you're going to play. But the main thing, the most important thing is that we're going to see the buff to the battle grounds store so if you're like me holding on to your trophy tokens for a better spending time then look out for that one because it's coming june 22nd giving you an opportunity for various different things depending on what your preference is what your liking is what you you know what what's this what's so spicy to you you know that's something to uh to mention whether, whether or not you like uh uh six star hero crystal shards at the same price maybe seven star hero crystal shards at a price of 1850 trophy tokens because maybe you do but it's just a case of there's some other stuff that's kind of better value uh volume of stuff is more a little bit better on pricing i think better for the rank up of relics items and a little bit when it comes to the tier six class catalyst being added into it it's still pretty expensive in kind of comparison but at least you get more of the meta stuff that you're chasing um if anything and of course we end the week on a friday there's not much going on on friday to be honest there's there's actually nothing so i would say use this time wisely to find some stuff within the game that you like and uh just have at it go at it strong wherever and whatever you see fit uh will kaban make an announcement on something probably not because what they've done is they'll have the live stream on the 20th of june which will be the tuesday and then um it'll probably be a bit of a dull time and there may be an announcement on something on friday it's hard to say um unless there's well i don't know whether or not they'll be teasing july 4th deals a week before i think it's a week before or two weeks before i have this theory that on the th the 30th of june that we'll start seeing uh we should see the um july weekend spectacular deals type thing but we'll have to see we really really will have to see with that one um i think a lot of us are looking forward to it i don't know if i'll do predictions i might do predictions for july weekend deals we'll have to see it's gonna be a busy week next week so i'll have to kind of figure out like what content you guys may want to see more than others but yeah in any case 
that is that. And we end the grind shows we normally do on a Saturday with the grind tip of the week, if there is something uh, in particular. And I would say uh, with this, this one is, well, I've done most of them for the side. I was going to think I should do a side quest based kind of like grind tip. But to be honest, I've done them all. There's lots of content. I'm done, by the way, making any side quest based co- the side quest based content because it's already been done. I've covered everything: store spends, objectives, um, best champions to use, the defenders you face off against, and so much more. So uh, that all those that spreadsheet is completely made for it. I would say one of the most important things is prepare for July weekend deals. You may be getting involved with them, you may be not. And I would say for those that, uh, first of all, aren't getting involved with July weekend, July weekend deals, which are going to be all about, right, well, if you want, if you haven't got enough units like I have, then what what are you best off doing? And I would say holding fire. Survey what and how Kabam do, like non-spending, also spending kind of deals to go, look, are they reducing down the depre- is the depreciation there for those deals. So if you spend 10,000 units and you get half a seven star as a Paragon player or half a six star being formed, have a look at whether or not that's of value and then go, okay, well, Cyber Weekend, are they going to depreciate more? So instead of you saying this time around, you get half a six star, you get a full six star in November. You get half a seven star now. You get a full seven star in September. Uh, in, in sorry, in, in November for Cyber Weekend deals. So make those decisions of going right. Well, I make get more value by saving whatever units I have now, adding more units to it over the summer period, and then spending in um, you know the uh, November's December time when the deals come out. Come out, will probably put like a new abyss level bit piece uh, piece of content. So look out for that as well. And that would be something that will be you know frustrating. And you then again look, you have to look at it and go, do I take twenty thousand units, invest it into that, or do I take twenty thousand units and invest it into um, the likes of um, some Cyber Weekend deals? And it's less effort for more reward by doing the other thing. Um, so make sure to do that. Assess it when it comes out. See what Kabam are doing. Add more units. Get involved with it. And do bear in mind the banquet event needs to be saved up. You need to save units. Investing and saving up units is going to be very important. Like I'm going to have to now start thinking about saving units for uh, sub weekend and July 4th deals. Uh, sub weekend and banquet event. Because I'm obviously a non-spending player, I want to invest into that. So that's another story for another day. And that's been it. That's been the um, the the grind show. Preparation is the tip uh, for that one. Uh, check out some other content located on the screen. Have a great day. And I've uh, got a couple of sponsored bits of content coming out later on for some other games. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all soon. Much love and goodbye.